What's up, YouTube? And what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke, episode number 14. Right? Did I say 14? Oh! 14. Um, let's see here. In the last episode, what did we do? We made it to Ecruteague City. Um, along the way... Okay, okay, so we, we made it to Ecruteague City. We caught a Heracross on the way up. We got to Ecruteague City and met Bill. Then we went back to Goldenrod and picked up an Eevee, which I believe was a Magcargo. Is that right? Something like that. Um, and then we... Oh, we took on all of the Kimono Girls. Actually, that might have been what we just did in the last episode. One way or another, we definitely took on the Kimono Girls in the last episode. So if you missed the last episode, make sure you check it out. It's going to be in a card up at the top right of the screen. Uh, so make sure you look at that. Check that out. In today's episode, we're going to be going to the Burn Tower, uh, which we can make our way over there now. And then we're also going to be taking on um, the Ecruteague City Gym, I do believe. Um, so if you're excited for today's episode, go ahead and hit that like button and uh, talk to me in the comments. I'd like some feedback. I really want to know how to make my content even better. So if you're watching this, I appreciate it so much. This is what I consider the main series on my channel. So if you're enjoying it, thank you so much. But talk to me in the comments or talk to me on Twitter and let me know what you think. I want to make better content for a YouTube. So uh, let's start with the grinding mont or a, grind uh, a party update. And if you saw the grinding montage, you know that there, uh, there's been a change. So uh, let, let, let's just jump in. First up is the smallest member of our team, and that holds true. <clears throat> uh, and that's Drago, the ground type Diglett. Still with Vice Grip, Ice Beam, Aurora Beam, Flame Wheel. Nothing really changed for most of these guys. Um, good attack, good defense. Next up is Sarah, our Grass Poison type Dragonite, the red card of our team, by far the strongest member of our team. Holding the Amulet Coin because we need all the money that we can get with Scratch, Rolling Kick, Dizzy Punch, and Octazooka. With great stats all around, I will switch this thing in to take an attack for me every day of the week. Next up is Clovis, the most frail member of our team, the Flying type Swinub. Holding the Amulet Coin also, that's going to change here in just a minute, but we have Sludge, Cut, Boomerang, and Mud Slap. With pretty good all-around stats. I won't complain, I won't complain. Next up we have Zivia, our Fire Water type Muck, which, who might be... This is a solid, excuse me, this is a solid member of our team. Um, the, the type of moves that we have aren't that great though, so... But we do have, excuse me, why am I... <clears throat> All I drink is water. I shouldn't be like this. Anyway, um, overall, uh, well-rounded stats. And then next up is the newest member of our team. And that is Rajiv, the Ice Ground type Heracross, who's actually very strong with Cross Chop, Dizzy Punch, Thunderbolt, and Soft Boiled. Soft Boiled is probably going to go away soon because I could just heal with an item then heal with Soft Boiled. But uh, pretty good stats all around. We got that. We have a high special attack. Uh, which I'll have to remember going forward. Terrible speed, though. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, I, I'm going to let Rajiv lead us. So I'm actually going to give him... Wait. I'm gonna Item storage is full. Oh, I said I was going to do that. Okay, well, let me run over here. And then I want to talk about one thing. Um, The one bit of feedback that I've heard is that there's some echo. Um, so, I'm, I'm kind of listening for it myself, um, just in my own room, and like in, the, in this room that I'm uh, recording in, and I can hear it. I can hear it here as well. <laughs> um, so I wish that I could fix that, but I think that's just some, something I'm gonna have to deal with for now. So I apologize. If you have any ideas of like software things that I can do to fix that, then let me know. Uh, uh, okay, so we're just gonna sell, I guess we'll keep that. Wait, let's sell these. I'm just trying to clear up some space. Energy root will, ice heal can go away. Apricorns, I guess I could throw these apricorns. Actually, hold on, how many super potions does I have? Kind of a, a slow start to the episode, but that's okay. We will pick it up here in just a second. Um, again, I'm really, I really, really, really want to hear any feedback 
um, that you have about my content, let me know what you think. If you enjoy it, cool. If you don't enjoy it, then let me know why. Let me know what I can do better. So let's go ahead and give the amulet coin to Rajiv. And then let's go jump in. I think I turned the volume down on my mic. I think that's why what I'm hearing is quieter. Okay, that shouldn't change anything for you. Oh my gosh, I don't like that. Never mind. I'm turning that right back down. All kinds of technical stuff going on today. Hold on. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> uh, my name's Yusin. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune. And you are? Domino with a zero. Glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suicune is in this burned tower, so I came to look. But where exactly could he be? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> in the remakes, when you walk up, you can see downstairs. Uh, and I thought that he might just be standing there. Uh, ooh, Morty. I didn't have an, I didn't have something for Morty worked up. Uh, Morty, 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 Morty. I guess it's fitting that we take on Morty during a, a nighttime episode. Um, so, Morty. Ecrutique's gym leader has to study what are said to be the legendary Pokemon. Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. Uh, Yusin is here, so I've decided to investigate the tower with him. Yeah! First encounter! Let's go! Duplicates! How do I get duplicates in a completely randomized Nuzlocke? Explain that to me. Is that- no, that can't be all that's in here. No, that's definitely not all that's in here. A Nidorina! <laughs> I always get a knit arena, no matter what. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for a thunderbolt. Perfect. Perf. Perfect. Stand the ball. Boom! Knit arena was caught. Oh, I meant to pull this up. See, I t I told myself that I was doing a great job in uh, <laughs> pulling up the random name generator. Uh, but I pulled it up on my computer, not my phone. Anyway, Nidorina, the poison pin Pokemon. It is a docile nature. Well, how does that, how's that true? Natures weren't announced until the next season. Anyway, uh, it is a docile nature. If it is threatened with an attack, it raises, it raises the barbs that are all over its body. How come I can't read ever? Okay, so the name for our Nidorina, who is normally named Chris, but it is Branca, and the N has a special symbol. You'll see that when uh, you'll see that on the layout. Uh, but Branca is gonna jump. Oh, we got a Moonstone also. Ooh, we got a Moonstone also. So I feel like what I should do is get Branca to level twenty or twenty-three, uh, because that's the level that she learns a move, right? Hey, let me look this up. Let me look this up right now. I'm sure we're doing fine on time. I did not think of a, oh, oh, can we talk about Pokemon Tournament? That's what we're gonna do for our question of the day. I want you to let me know who you are most interested in playing in Pokemon Tournament. Because if you're watching this video, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna bet you're probably gonna be playing Pokemon Tournament Deluxe. Uh, as you can see, I am wearing my Pokemon shirt. This is my favorite Pokemon shirt. I don't know where I got it from. My dad got it for me. Um, hold on. I just searched the absolute wrong thing. Um, so, today it was uh, the second day of Nintendo's E3 where they went over, um, or they had the Invitational. And Alistair, one of our community leaders, was there, and he did an absolutely phenomenal job. Uh, okay, so it actually looks like I've learned all the moves that I can as a Knit Arena. So, or at least until level 27, which that's just a really long time. A Dragon Ground type. Should I evolve it right away, or should I wait until level 27? Let me know in the comments below as well. Let me know in the comments below, or I'll decide over the next episode or two. All right, so let's finish up in this burn tower because we're taking forever. 
Forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever. I don't have Rock Smash yet, do I? As soon as I get back, as soon as I get back, we're playing Smash. And you're gonna lose. My Captain Falcon will be ready even after a, a, a month off. It, I could I could take the whole year off and my Captain Falcon would still be ready. And I'm ready for your Falco and I'm ready for your new main and I'm ready for everything. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna hit this up with a, a cross shot. Oh no, not Cotton Spore! Bambi, please don't use a cotton sp No, don't lower my speed. It's already only 19. <laughs> that was a crit. Mega Punch. Okay. You need to train your Quagsire better, my boy. Sent out a Clefable. <laughs> I hate Clefable. I hate Clefable. I don't know what to switch into. Let's switch into Zivia. Seems like a smart idea. Pin Missile. Did nothing. All right, we're gonna go with the Rock Slide. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Rapid spin. <laughs> Rapid spin is so scary. All right, Clefable is down. What type of move is Rapid Spin? Oh god, a Porygon. What's a Porygon gonna do? Hold on, what type am I? So I'm Fire Water, which means it could be a whole number of things. I'm betting it's like an electric type. For some reason, that just seems like what it would be. Okay, so we're gonna use a Super Potion. You're using Swift. Sorry, so I'm out of here. Alright, uh, let's switch into... It's so risky switching into one of these two. Because they're so frail. Let's go into Drago. Is Swift super effective on Drago? It doesn't affect me. <laughs> awesome. Alright, Aurora Beam. Hit it. Oh god. Fury Attack is super effective. That's not even super effective? What? All right, let's go with the Ice Beam. Ice Beam did nothing. Aurora Beam, stop! Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh no. Red card has been hit. <laughs> okay, so Psychic type is not very effective. So let's go with the rock. Okay, what? What is this thing? What is this thing? Are you kidding me? I feel like I'm gonna die. Okay, all right. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. All right, we're okay. We're okay. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That was a fight. This is why I hate battling wimps. Don't you ever call me a wimp? You've never beaten me. Never. LTC didn't count. I never played the game. I just went because I had to. Doesn't he say like something really stupid here? What are you doing falling into a hole? Some genius you are. Serves you right. And that is something Bambi would say 10 out of 10 times. 10 out of 10 times he would say something like that. All right, let's walk up to these guys. What? <laughs> Is that a Mareep? I'm pretty sure that's a Mareep. All right, you see. I dug a hole here too. I was shocked. Suicune raced by like a blur right in front of my eyes. For 10 years I chased Suicune and I finally got to see it. I'm all choked up. Domino, I owe all this to you. Thank you. I heard that the legendary Pokemon of Equity tests chosen humans by allowing them to get close. I'm going to track Suicune. Domino, let's meet again. Farewell. <clears throat> yeah, when we meet again, he's not so nice. He's not so nice the next time. He's not so nice the next time. Golem, that's my boy Brock. Woohoo! Wait, who's this guy? Who's this? Was he here before? In the distant past, this tower burned a fire. Their name was Pokemon. Yeah, so that's a that's like a um, 
That's like a, one of those lore things. Like, the three Pokemon that were in here, some people say they were like, uh, uh, Flareon, Vaporeon, and Jolteon, uh, which is crazy. That's such a crazy theory. Uh, well, I guess we'll get it started. We'll get it started. Because I really, I'm trying to do 20 minute episodes. So we're just gonna come in here and smack some people up. Don't use these attacks. You do not. This is not funny. You think you're funny, Stantler. You think you're funny. Send out Machop. All right, Machop's not gonna be able to kill Clovis. Okay, good, I was, I was correct. Smog, oh God, that's super effective. Clovis is well trapped. Zivia, let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> this game is scary! Machamp? Oh my god. This game is super scary. Centret? That's not scary. Alright, cool. So I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get to the gym leader and then we'll take on uh, Morty in the next episode to kick us off. I think that'll work I, and that'll be the, that'll be a nice ending to the week. Otherwise we kind of end, uh, we kind of end with, with nothing, uh, kind of ended on a lame note. No, don't paralyze me. I don't want to be slower than I already am. Fully paralyzed. So I, I, again, like we we started talking about the qu the question of the day. I just want to know who are you most excited to play in Pokémon tournament? Uh, I am a Weavile player. I always have been a Weavile player, um, and and I'm just super excited to uh, to continue to play him. Um, Krogunk looks amazing. He looks so fun. Uh, he looks he looks silly. Um, and who else? Who else looks looks kind of looks super fun to play? Uh, Scizor. Scizor looks super fun to play. And if you saw my top 10 Pokemon, top 10 favorite Pokemon, you would know that Scizor is one of my favorites. So um, there's the group mode where you can do 3v3, and I think those three are going to be my three. And I'll also have Decidueye and Sceptile kind of hanging out in the back. Um, but I think that is going to go ahead and do it for this episode. We'll get this under 20 minutes. We will finish up this gym in the next episode, which will be tomorrow to close out our week. So today we went into the burn tower where we caught ourselves a Nidorina named Branca who joined the team. Uh, I don't think we'll train them up just yet, uh, but we'll train them up. Well, we might do it before the before we finish the gym, but we might just go ahead and wait until the next grinding montage because we don't need to grind up anymore. Um, and then we took on Prince Bambi, who actually gave us a pretty decent fight. Um, kind of scared us a little bit, but we managed to pull through. And then we got started here in the gym um, just briefly. In the next episode, like I said, we will finish up Morty, and then we will head towards Olivine City to finish up our week. So make sure you subscribe so you can see that. And talk to me in the comments below. I really want to know what you think. If you're watching these videos, I really appreciate it. But let me know what you think I can do to make the videos better. Or if you have an idea of what I can do to make this stop echoing, I think it's just the space that I'm recording in that does that. <sighs> so thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.